Welcome to a new DIY by Millsy London. What's up guys? And today we're gonna change up some denim jeans. I started with a lighter pair, um, scrunched up old paper that I didn't need. I had a whole bag full. And the idea is to stuff the leg of these jeans um, since we're going to be bleaching them. So the reason why um, it's either DIY or throwaway these jeans is because I had a puddle stain on it. If you are in the UK, then you know stepping in a puddle is so irritating and that dirty water just splashes up. So yeah, I'm gonna use some masking tape, bleach and paintbrush to apply. I wanted to do strips of bleach. Um, it didn't work out, okay, just a heads up. So I still went through as much as I could with this DIY. I did not wanna throw away the, the trousers, didn't wanna throw away the jeans. Um, but yeah, girl, watch the process because it's kind of cool. So while using the paper to just kind of prevent any bleach leaking, um, the spray wasn't enough. Packed to the shop and I got like a bottle bleach. I got the cheapest one. Don't do that again. <laughs> because it was literally so liquid, I thought, you know, bleach had a bit of substance to it, but this one was 60p, so I can't complain. Um, I did that and it worked really well on this material. It just literally covered up a lot more areas. And halfway through, um, I was like, okay, I don't need to kind of do the whole leg because the idea was to make a skirt from these. So I continued to bleach throughout, front and back, after realizing that, I couldn't control the bleach and put strips of bleach, so I just had to bleach the whole legs. If I knew how to do that, guys, I would have just dumped it in a bucket. <laughs> Not forgetting, I know I keep saying puddle water, but I actually mean when you step on an uneven pavement. Yeah. Until having to bleach the whole thing, I realised how far <laughs> the dirty water splashed up all up my bum. Couldn't believe it. So yeah, these are definitely going away. And even more actually, um, because the fabric is whack, um, it ripped with the bleach. Couldn't take all of that treatment, I guess. I mean, it was only one layer. It was only overnight dry. Yeah, it ripped. On to the next best part of this video and what we're going to need now is ribbon, tassel or if you don't have any ribbon, use some rope or elastic. So we need to unpick the entire inner legs of the jeans. This is probably the longest and tedious part of the whole thing. Um, it's just literally like thread by thread and there's about three different sections of thread. So you have like the straight stitch I'm picking out now and then there's one that kind of sews down the seam and then there's the overlock stitch, um, which is like four stitches. So yeah, it's all right because just did it, pop, it's done. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Remove as much threads as you can. And now we're gonna just put the back together, but I think the crutch needs to be done. So we just need to pop that open. And yeah, as you can see, it kind of pokes up. So when we're doing the back, we just need to do a straight line. Now I snipped off um, to my desired length for my skirt. By doing this, I've laid out the trousers side by side. I really hope that makes sense. I'm sorry I didn't get to record it, flipping it out. But as you can see, sewing down the back, we just need to sew a straight line and kind of avoid that poking out part. Um, when it comes to the front, we're gonna unpick that poking out part. Um, you'll see we're going to unpick about two inches and this will just help it lay flat. We don't have to get rid of it, but it is a part of the design, so we're definitely going to keep it in.
this video can be so much more detailed so feel free to comment below if you would want a detailed video on how to transform your classic pair of jeans to a denim mini skirt. Okay, so on to the top. Um, I cut this kind of crazy shape for the skirt because I wanted the back to be longer than the front. It works out great because it left me um, with it a bit extra. So what I'm doing is just finding the midpoint of the whole thing, which is five inches, because the uh, widest it can be is 10. Um, so I'm just finding the midpoint on all each panel and marking it down, folding it in half, just so when we cut it out, it's gonna be even. So I'm just gonna now remove that kind of top arch and cut it straight across. This is literally going to be an extended long panel. This step is very simple. Um, all you need to do is, with the long strip, create two pleats per section. The pleat is no more than an inch wide or two centimeters. Um, and you can readjust this to your liking. The Now we're going to attach the panel that we just created and we're gonna attach it to the skirt. As you're doing this, if a pleat comes apart, literally as I did, just fold it back and keep clipping. I ended up with a bit more fabric at the back, which is okay because you just end up with more volume. So I just had to shuffle it round and I added bigger pleats or more pleats, more than two per section. I put three towards the center back of the skirt. This is so nice.
So I've sewn on the peplum, just tidying up inside, and this is the stain that I kind of need to get rid of, and it didn't disappear the way I wanted it to. So I had to cut and remove it, make the skirt shorter, and um, it's okay because there's so much fabric for the top. But look at it as a maxi, it was so cute. So removing that extra fabric now that had the stain, and this is what we got as a result. We're now going to form the loops for the back of the top and this is going to thread through uh, the ribbon. So we use the ribbon to create the loops. I folded in the denim, the raw edge, uh, about 1cm and then we're going to loop the 2 inch ribbon, the strip, and then we're going to create the loop. Um, just make sure each of them are spaced evenly and then we're going to just straight stitch it on the top. The top is laced up and to finish the skirt, we're going to add um, a trim of tassels, two layers of tassels. And then we're just gonna top stitch it and girl, we done. Watch out. Also, I added two dots at the front, which really helped the fit. 